Hi, shalom. My name is Dorothy Roll, and I host. I'm hosting Brother Marcus um, on his missionary journey. Um, even before Brother Marcus came, I just knew. I felt it in the spirit realm that this would have been a time of rejuvenation and renewal. And it's like um, Brother Marcus coming here has lit a spark in the Bahamas. Um, I don't have time to share some of the amazing work that Father has done. But one of my testimonies, I it took me about a week or two to prepare to prepare for Brother Marcus. I'm self-employed and so um, no work means no income. But I, that wasn't a concern of mine because I just decided, the Holy Spirit assured me that everything would be all right. And so I have not worked in about, this week coming is gonna be the third week. But however, Father has opened up the windows of heaven and he is rained down blessings after blessings i can't go into detail but my cup has run over and the jehovah be all the glory all the praise and we look forward to coming to brother marcus coming back and the uh, message on saturday i'm going to leave that for the other saints but it was father showed up and the holy spirit took over hallelujah Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go? Yeah. Okay. My name is Fanitha Taylor. Everybody call me Fanny. Um, where do I begin? Um, even before Brother Marcus came, I was looking forward to his coming because I had envisioned um, fire coming down in our midst and he surely did rain the fire of his presence in our midst yesterday at Sabbath worship. Um, I was so overwhelmed. Um, it, 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 it went beyond my expectation and to be honest, um, I also look forward, as a matter of fact, I was baptized today. Hallelujah. I was baptized today and I left that old lifestyle and way of worship to the new way of worship and that is the way of truth. Hallelujah. Um, I'm looking forward to Brother Marcus coming back i just i just know it and i also know even if he doesn't know yet that he is going to establish an hoi ministry here in the bahamas which he will oversee um i am looking forward to this coming sabbath and what Father's going to do in our midst, I expect that it's going to be greater than what we've experienced before. And I, 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 it, it sad me to know that he has to leave, but I also understand that he has a family that he has to go back um, to. But the next visit he comes, by Father's grace, he's going to bring his family and so he wouldn't have to rush Amen. back. <laughs> he wouldn't have to rush back home. Um, I just feel like he is a part of us now and a part of our family here. And so I'm going to miss him. But I also know that by his grace, Father's going to bring him back. And I, I, I don't know where he will take us from there. <laughs> But I, I've been blessed. Um, someone said more than blessed. And so I just appreciate Father sending him to us. And he will make provisions um, for it to be possible for him to come back. 
with his family. Um, amen. That's amen. my amen. testimony. Amen. 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 Right. It's better in the Bahamas. Right. <laughs> yeah, many things. Shalom, shalom. I'm Linda Cartwright. And uh, I'm happy that uh, Pastor Marcus is here. In fact, I'm delighted that he's here. And I'm um, also delighted that I was able to be, uh, that he baptized me today, even though it was like a spur of the moment thing that I planned to have him do. And yeah. then, boom, suddenly I was in the water and under the water by the grace of Father Yehovah. And I thank him for coming here because, you know, some of my prayer partners, Sorry. we've been praying for someone to come here yes. to set the Bahamas straight. Now, wherever he is, the Jonah, we've been praying for, we're waiting to see if that would manifest. So hopefully, prayerfully, if he's not, he's someone else that Father chose in the place of the Jonah that we pray for. So thank you again, Brother Marcus, and um, may Father be with you in your ministry, always. Amen. Amen. Hi, my name is Jenna V, but everybody calls me Jenny. And... It has been a very significant experience today. I went down to the beach. Dorothea, the host, she is my best friend. And she told me that Jemiah, Jemiah was going to be baptized today. So I said, well, okay, I'll be there. I'll come down. And... It was like the Holy Spirit. I met the Holy Spirit there. I spoke to Dorothea and we started to talk. And I told her, I said, you need to get rebaptized. I said, now you have found the truth. You have found the truth. Yes, you was a Christian back then. But listening to Brother Marcus and the other pastor, I said, now you have found the real truth. So you need to get rebaptized. And so she spoke to Brother Marcus and we started discussing baptism. And she said, you know what? I'm going to get baptized today. And it it really did something to me today. I was so blessed to see Jemiah in the water. And then these other two ladies came. So the day was a beautiful and a blessed day experience. I am a Seventh Day Adventist, but you all are no different from me. We all worship the true God. And I I am praying that Brother Marcus continues to come so that it won't just be a handful of people who get to know the truth, but there will be many people. Because there are people who are searching for the truth and the truth is here so i am praying that on his return or the followers who are here will continue to go and witness and don't get discouraged so the seed your job is to sow the seed somebody else will come and water the seed and here's your master water he will water the seeds that you sow. So, I'm being blessed and I pray that your ministry will be blessed. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Who's going first? <laughs> Hi. Uh, shalom. My name is Hugh Ferguson. Um, we, my wife and I, we are just delighted to be here. We are from another island, from Grand Bahama. So we flew in um, uh, to meet Pastor Marcus and to, to be with um, the brethren yesterday, and as well as today during the baptism. And it's been a wonderful experience for us, especially yesterday where we um, had a wonderful, wonderful Sabbath service. Pastor Marcus um, really brought the word from Father Jehovah, um, the building was just filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I feel as though everyone that was in attendance, they were really blessed. And uh, we just had a wonderful, wonderful time. And today as well, during the baptism, it's so wonderful to see um, persons turn their lives and their heart 
their soul, their spirit over to the Father to be led and guided by Him and to consummate that in baptism. And so we already just blessed to experience that as well. And we just thank uh, Pastor Marcus for, for you know, just being truthful to Father, following his leading and in being here and delivering the word that he has delivered. And uh, we wouldn't be here for next week's service, but we would be watching online and we know that um, Father will do wonderful work and continue the wonderful work that he's doing in Pastor Marcus' ministry and his life. And we just look forward uh, to him continuing and walking to walk as Father leads him. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Shalom. My name is Sue Ferguson. We are from Freeport, um, <clears throat> Grand Bahama Island. Well, first of all, I give God, I give Father Yehovah the glory. I give him thanks for allowing me to be here, for allowing us all to be here and be a part of the work that he is doing uh, through Pastor Marcus and of course to all of us and um, <clears throat> yesterday I have seen the manifestation of the power of the Most High at work during the service. I have seen people um, when the opportunity was called to stand to be prayed for if they have any issue, any, any health issues that they need healing, they need deliverance. And almost everybody in the building stand up. And I hear testimonies, so one lady said she was um, walking much better. They were getting healed, they are getting delivered. And, and to Father Yehovah, I give the glory. But most of all, I give Father the glory. The word that was spoken, it was spoken with authority yes. because Father's word in itself is authoritative and it is a living word and it changes us. And I'm excited with the transformation that is going to happen from that day on, today and every day as, as we go through in this, in this uh, walk that we are walking in. It's a narrow road. Yes. It is a straight and narrow, and very few will find it. Mm -hmm. But now that we have the truth, we have a duty, we have obligation to, ser to uh, share it to those who are in the wrong, or I should say in the wide, in the wide road, to come to the narrow road that we will find light. Because broad is the way, and wide is the gate that leads to destruction, mm -hmm. and many will go there. Okay. So we may be a handful, but we have the truth of the Most High, living God, and His Word that is alive, that is in us. We cannot keep it. We cannot contain it. It has to come out, and it has to come out. And I am so thankful for Father leading uh, Pastor Marcus yesterday to anoint us all that we may go forth. And His work that He is started in us, um, what Paul says in Philippians 1 and verse 6, that he who started the good work in us yes. will is faithful mm -hmm. to complete it. So he will complete the work that Father is doing. Amen. And so I am very much encouraged with that, that Father is faithful to complete it. We may have challenges with the economy, with what is going on in the government and everything that is going on in the world, but Father is faithful. Yes. We are safe and we are secure in him. And we have that assurance. And I am very much thankful for, um, it's like, uh, you, you give us a push, Pastor Marcus. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving us that push, that push Hallelujah. that we might go through. And we must not have that fear. Mm -hmm. We must not have fear, but we must have faith in Him. Amen. Amen. So we are delighted and we are so thankful that you are here and we are looking forward to come back. We're Amen. looking forward to that time when you come back. And hopefully, when you come back, maybe we can go to Long Island and yeah. go to Grand Bahama. We yeah. never know, but Father, Father, make all things possible. Amen. 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 Thank you so much.